checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. Daytona Finance is going absolutely parabolic. I talked about it in my previous video. Okay, guys, we were underneath my target area here. I said that I believe that we were going to get a push towards this level. And if we break that level, I see us going up to the 47 cents mark. And if we break 47 cents, 74 uh, between 74 and 75 cents will be a good take profit area but of course you got to be scaling out profits um within these ranges okay but this is looking super bullish super parabolic we had a breakout of this copper handle which you can see right here we got a breakout of there and um it's looking good guys i'm not sure how i mean uh, there must be a very high demand for this token because the the aprs are very uh very degen all right guys even still Okay, even still, the TVL has gone up to about 5 million. If we scroll down, it's 5.2 million in TVL. Okay, guys, if we go to the farms, 739% you can get on the native Tony USDC farm. 716% on the Tony PLS farm. Okay, guys, even on PLS, if you pair that with USDC, 456%. Okay, guys, the APRs are super Degen, you can pair up Zen with PLS, 657%. Now, a lot of these tokens like Zen, for example, they're going to be high slippage, okay? high, um, Highly volatile, okay, guys? So my recommendation is just sticking with the PLS farms and the Tony farms, uh, for example, okay? You've got um, all PLSX, which is very low. Uh, well, it's still a high APR, but low in comparison to some of the other ones, right? Um, there is a PLS... PLSX farm, which is probably better than what you're getting on, um, better than what you're getting on Pulse X at the moment. You got E hex and a P hex farm. The E BTC and P BTC. Be very careful with P BTC uh, because very highly volatile. Seven hundred eighty-nine percent though. Uh, a very nice. Then you got a P hex and PLSX farm as well. Okay, guys. If we go over to the pools, Super Degen once again. Just in the Tony farm, 687% you can get just by staking Tony. Um, you know, I'm not sure how... <laughs> I'm not sure how they're, they're doing this, to be honest. But, you know, the community is the community. The community is pumping the token. They're buying the token. And the developer is clearly a base dev at this point. Okay, the developer, you know, got to give a round of applause to the developer on this project. Okay, I said it before... Bartertown um, vouched for, he didn't vouch for the developer, but he basically said he's aware of the developer or from what I'm getting in the chats, right? He's aware of the, who the developer is and um, they've never rocked a project before as far as he knew. But obviously the token is its own thing. The volatility could go to the upside or to the downside. Um, volatility is going to the upside at the moment. So this is bullish. We're hitting 10, almost 10 million market cap. I reckon we can see this above 10 million market cap today, okay? 468k in liquidity, so remember it is volatile. Remember, it's not financial advice, don't risk more than what you can afford to lose, okay guys? But this is turning out to be probably the best project on Pulse Chain outside of Pulse X um, and the PLS token itself. Um, unless there's another project that you guys know about. I'm all ears. Let me know in the comments, guys. I need help at the end of the day. Like, I can't find all these projects myself. A lot of projects I find through the grapevine from other people. Um, you know, I don't have time to kind of share every project. Okay, guys? I made a nice, huge profit on a project yesterday, Tweety. And I took profits. Okay, Tweety launched on Ethereum. This is not a shield for Tweety. Okay, guys? But I saw this. I bought it early. And, um, you know, I made a very, very nice profit on this project. And fortunately, I managed to sell out around the top. And since then, it's come down. Okay, but I am keeping an eye on this because it's hot number two at the moment as well. But it's very low market cap. It's only at one million. Okay, so I am keeping an eye on this. Okay, but this is over on Ethereum. All right, guys. And uh, maybe I'll just put a little moon bag in. And see where this one can go. Because it is still pretty low in market cap. Branding looks good. But guys, you know, I don't share every project on the channel. Okay. Um, but yeah, feel free to share me, show me the projects. Okay, guys. Because at the end of the day, there are some gems found. And it's all about community. The community, I have a Telegram chat group. Come and join us. 
Um, link is in the description. Crypto Insomniacs, come and join us over here. Okay, guys. And, um, you know, sometimes we find these projects in here. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's really all I've got for you for now, guys. Daytona is looking super bullish and it's pumping. So, the chart is looking really good to me. Okay, I hope we can get a parabolic move all the way up to the 75 cent mark and it could even do more than that for all i know i don't know okay but chart is looking very bullish at the moment okay um you know i'm not recommending that you fomo buy in um by the way okay it's not financial advice okay but um ultimately this is looking good and i'm happy with the way it's performing at the moment so that's really all i've got for you for now guys do me a favor and subscribe to the channel tick the little bell for notifications like the video which helps with the youtube algorithm and i'll see you in the next video